Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. We're Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're high above our magical village here on top of the Wizard's Tower, looking down in this thunderstorm. And there is a reason why I have been standing on the Wizard's Tower for over an hour, waiting for a thunderstorm. And it's not just to have a little fun with our brand new wizard staff trident. No, it is to enact revenge upon a zombie who took the life of Squiddy. Look at Squiddy. Look at him. I will avenge you, Squiddy. Oh, oh, oh no, I used the wrong trident. <laughs> Hold on, Squiddy. I got gotcha. you. There we go. That zombie was a throwaway joke. <laughs> I feel so bad for her, Squiddy. Lost to that zombie. But I'll tell you this, creepers, skeletons, spiders, zombies, you come around this village anymore and you'll feel the wrath of my magic. I see you. I hear you. Take that. Yeah, that's right. I'm magic. I'm a wizard. I've got an epic beard. Creeper, get out of my town. Uh, what? <gasps> Charge creeper. <gasps> oh, wait. How did you just turn into a zombie? What kind of black magic is happening? What do we do here? What do we do? There's a there's a charge creeper now. I completely forgot these charge creepers. <laughs> and how did the zombie appear? I'm so confused. Oh my gosh, we gotta stay away from that. Charge creepers are not scar safe. So I'm gonna keep a hundred block distance from him. Oh man. And you skeleton, you get out of here too. <gasps> Wrong trident. Seriously. We need to name them. That's way too unsafe. Well, maybe we can take this as a life lesson for everyone. That revenge isn't always the answer and to use your powers sparingly and only for good. <laughs> and not for revenge. How come I can't jump? Well, that's embarrassing. Ah, welcome back here. As you can see, I've uh, been enjoying some milkshakes here and they were quite delightful. Really calmed my nerves. One of them was actually a root beer float. So I had a milkshake and a root beer float. It was the best thing I've ever done in my life. Besides put french fries in milkshakes, that is even better. If you don't believe me, ask Cub Fan. He knows that french fries in milkshakes are the most delightful of things, just like this village. In our last episode, as I was trying to say in the intro before we got a little carried away with our magic, we put our beautiful villagers in these farms and got them all automated and ready to go. We've got our cats down there looking hilarious. And of course, we have our barn. What in the world? Hello. <laughs> that didn't work there. Uh, but we have our barn and it is fully decorated inside with our sheep and our cows. And the sorting machine is definitely working and wasn't broken. And I definitely didn't have to call Impulse over here to help me. We've still got things to do in this village, but the main purpose of today's episode is to establish another shop in the shopping district, part of Operation. Thunder. And this shop is going to be a landscaping shop that sells all of the blocks that you would want for your landscaping. Dirt, leaves, plants, and flowers, and it's gonna be amazing. I have some really fun ideas for the shop design. And for some reason, all of my shops that I've built lately, or at least come up with, always have some essence of something has gone terribly wrong, and this shop is gonna be no different. To be able to make this shop and run it, we are going to have to do some serious grinding to get the resources to sell and to make the shop. So we're going to have to jump into super fast grind mode and get as many resources as we can. So hit it.
and super fast grind mode and boy was that ever a grind <laughs> that was quite uh oh man that was a day and a half of grinding all condensed into a minute and 20 seconds i'm exhausted <laughs> But here we go. I have everything set for the shop for things to be for sale. So everything in this box is things will sell. Well, maybe not the iron because that's for iron ingots. But we've got a lot of leaves here. We've got some ferns. And what I'm going to sell is oak, spruce, and birch because those are all unique leaves. And the acacia leaf isn't unique enough, in my opinion, to sell. So I'm just going to mix oak, oak and acacia together, if that's okay. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that. And then the flowers we're going to sell, I'm starting to gather some of those. We're going to need to create a flower farm at some point here. They're also very like poorly organized. There's like flowers here, there's flowers there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad we did that. We now have an absolute ton of resources to start working on this build. You know, there is something that I keep forgetting to do, and that is to give Grian the winnings and the prize for the head hunt and he is finally online right now so let's go pop over to his house and see if he's around why am i going into a barn his house is this way oh green where are you <laughs> i keep flying around his base i don't know where he is let's see let's oh there he is hello hi <laughs> how can i help you i have prizes and stuff i have a confession go on well, I came over here to give you the prize, but it's not in my ender chest, and I don't know where it's at. Are you telling me that we won? Is that is that what happened? Yeah, but the worst part of it is that I don't know where the diamonds happened. Where did they go? They're lost. So, so we we won, but you've lost my half of the prize pool. Well, you could help me go look in some of my chests for them. Have you got a chest monster? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 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 no, come on. How many points did we win by? I didn't I didn't actually get to see the ceremony of who won. I have no idea. <laughs> I heard that we won and that's all it counted. All the 66 work is out then. I don't think the diamonds is all that you've lost because I think you know I can see your pink I did, slippers. I, did, I lost the diamonds, but I did I did get you this. One large armor stand scene. Oh, is this from Cleo? Yeah. That is awesome. Uh, I'm not going to let this this diamond thing slide, so you're going to have to <laughs> <laughs> locate those diamonds for me. I'm gonna find them. I, I could use some help if you if you don't mind. Fine, fine. Are you serious? Um, Dude, maybe? I've also got a massive chess monster growing as well. <laughs> like, I started off being really organized and then it just descended into this. It's just gonna take a little bit of time here to find them. I found, found them. The diamonds? Yep, up here, up them? here. Dude, they were like uh, right here the I'm whole coming. time. I'm coming. Come in here. 32 blocks of diamonds. Oh man, that feels good. Oh, I'm seeing you know, I'm a little bit relieved right now because yeah, that would have been a little bit of a problem <laughs> if the old uh, Scar lost the diamonds from the prize. You need to tidy up your house, dude. I mean, I don't normally come around my friend's house and tell them that their their place is messy, but dude, dude, this messy. place is this place is perfectly organized. Don't go downstairs, but this upper level here is beautiful. No, don't you don't need to. No, you can come back up from there. But look at this. Look how beautifully organized it is. I mean, there's a couple piles of garbage around here, but nothing too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the issue. The issue's outside. Oh, yeah. What happens outside is not my problem. It looks like you're having a yard sale. <sighs> I mean, honestly, if somebody wanted to take all this, it'd probably be a relief because then I don't have to organize any of it. Also, high five for the diamonds, right? Oh, high five. Did you see that high five? That was like a chest bump. Here, let's do that again. Boom. Ow. Chest bump. Watch. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that actually, yeah, I actually got a bit of uh, feedback on that. Yeah, me too, right? Got, got a little bounce off that. All right. All right. See you later, my dude. Good luck with your, all your chest monster problems. Ah, I'm just going to go do something else. See ya. Tragedy has struck here on the Hermitcraft server. After that last clip, I, well, I fell asleep, then woke up, streamed. After the stream, I had a terrible, terrible accident out in the wilderness of Hermitcraft, and I lost all of my tools, my weapons, and everything, along with all of these boxes of dirt that I went out and grinded for, and Cub and Grian found it because I was lagging so badly. I couldn't connect to the server. I couldn't load the world. It was a complete disaster, but they saved everything and I thank them so much. So we, wow, I was like on fire there for a second. <laughs> we need to give them something, a present, something like that for our gratitude. 
and our thanks. This might be an awkward present to receive on Christmas, but Cub is in desperate need of smelting material, and we got a whole lot of it. So I think that is gonna be a really good present for him. You might be wondering, what about Green? What are you gonna give him? Well, I think I found the perfect thing. The man loves Harry Potter. He loves to fly. So four elytras named after the four dragons from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Triwizard Tournament. The first task when they had to defeat the four dragons to get the golden egg. Come on, that's an amazing gift, right? And there we are. The gift is assembled here in the Hobbit Hole. Hi, thank you for getting me my stuff back. Here is a gift of four dragon wings from the Triwizard Tournament's first task. I also only had one dragon head. Kind of a failure, but it's the best we could do. And for Cub here at his base, thanks for getting my stuff back. And inside the chest is some of the finest wizard products here. We gave him 32 wizard backpacks, a respawn crystal, which is very rare. There's only two of its kind, anti-mob spawning crystals, which are amazing, and some wizard fruit looking super fancy. Oh, and then the coal blocks that he needed. But yeah, look at that. I think that's pretty cool. And by the way, look at this pyramid that Cub has made. Like, look at the size of that pyramid. That's amazing. Now that we got all of that out of the way, it is finally time to start our shop. Well, let's pack up our supplies and head to the shopping district. Flying on into the shopping island here, it is time to start building out our shop. I have picked a perfect spot for our construction of a beautiful conservatory or giant greenhouse where things will go terribly, terribly wrong inside. And I'm very excited about this little piece of land here because we're going to be able to expand it out into the ocean a little bit, which leads me to a question for you. Do we have to pay for the land that is in the water? So if we build out here and then terraform downwards, do we have to pay for the water land or do we pay just for the solid land? That is a good question. So. Let me know. It is really nice to build in a scar safe biome. <laughs> no mobs. We don't really technically even have to light up our builds. It's kind of a mice But with that, my friends, it is time to jump into super fast build mode and build out this beautiful conservatory where, as I said, things in the future will go terribly wrong inside. So hit it. super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one super awesome conservatory or greenhouse here looking super amazing now down below in the detail of the structure i did add dark prismarine at the last second and i'm so glad i did because it added just an extra little pop of color where it might have been a little overwhelming in the gray department so i'm very pleased with that and of course we added a bit of the brick in here and it's really nice the entire time I've played Minecraft, since 2010, I've never loved the brick texture, but when Jasper retextured all of these things, it looks amazing and fits so well with granite that uh, I just love including it into builds now. So 
This is the interior. I'm still contemplating how we might do the design where things go terribly wrong. So we might do that. We might not, depending on how we can incorporate it into the design. But I think we have this really well segmented. So we can do dirt here, leaves on the other side, and maybe in the center, mossy cobblestone and a bit of mossy stone. Those are two tedious blocks that are quite difficult to get. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time here contemplating how this interior is going to look and hopefully I can figure it out because I've been working on this video for like three days. Taking a quick break from building here, Mumbo had just logged on and he was checking on his new mini game and I didn't know it was open and apparently it is. So we could potentially get, oh my gosh, it just clicked over to green. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is really good. So if you're not familiar with this game, you know what? We're just gonna push this now just so we lock in the green. <laughs> Come on, give us that green. Give us that green block. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is so funny that it clicked over to green when we came over here. Oh, the timing. But you might be wondering, Scar, what are you doing? So here's the instructions. The button is alive and has to be kept alive by being pressed. The closer to death the button is when you save it, the higher the rank you get. Does that kind of make sense? So as it progresses down the colors, it gets riskier at the end, but that's a higher rank. So it's kind of a, a you know, you kind of have to weigh the odds there. If you press the button, the redstone lamps will fill back and you will get a colored piece of concrete. This is your rank. You should attach the rank belt to your skin so we can actually attach something to our skin can i customize my belt yes that's amazing do i get a prize no well that's sad should i laugh at people who are a lower rank than you yes 100 percent. yes okay that's amazing so yeah that is the button and that is a really fun game and i think we may just be the highest ranked hermit is this the return of Captain Angry Eyes. <laughs> Look at how angry my eyes are now. They're like that because I have my green belt on from pushing the button, but putting it on, my hat kind of obscures it and it looks like I just have a ton of hair. It's like my real life quarantine hair. <laughs> so maybe we could move that down to our chest. Maybe it could become a necklace, our belt. But speaking of green, we've got a bit of green now here at, well, you guessed it, the greenhouse and it is looking super, super fancy. So it is time now to figure out how we're going to do this. Are we going to get wild and make some kind of giant plant monsters growing out of here as if some kind of fertilizer or magic went uh, terribly wrong? I don't know why I'm saying, are we? We're just going to because, well, that sounds amazing. First Venus flytrap is now growing out of the greenhouse and it is looking super awesome. And may I point out, this thing is built on an angle. <laughs> Those are always an extra level of challenge. So I do want to put maybe some little leaves on the tips of these giant branches. I think that'll look really cool. And I do want to build another one here on the right side of the build. And I think that will help counterbalance it. So in the center here, I really want to make either some kind of giant flower or a tree or something growing out of the center. And I think that'd be really cool as you come into the greenhouse, maybe you have to walk through it to get over to the plant section or the dirt section over here so I think that'll look really cool and I want to add more detail in and around the area where the plants are breaking through the glass so maybe take some darker gray um, glass around the edges and another thing we could do is maybe we could take a little bit of green glass and run them along the sides as if the greenhouse is starting to build up you know a bit of moss around the edges of the glass which I think will add another layer of detail and a little extra charm to this build and yeah we need to add big flowers too not only another one of those but some big flowers kind of growing out here and there and yeah this thing is starting to finally come together which is really really cool boom we've got ourselves some flowers <laughs> wouldn't you like me just to appear in your world and be like boom we've got flowers from the flower fairy <laughs> But I'm loving them. Look at the little flower over there. I'm slightly loony. I've been working on this video now for almost four days. I was up till like two in the morning. It's now seven because I really want to get this video out for you guys. But look at that flower. How amazing is that? It's got a little detail in it. I'd love to add some Enrons, kind of get some light going to it. And of course, we have some additional flowers on these branches with some leaves. And as we slide right on inside, you can see that we've got a floor with a variety of different textures 
textures and patterns built into it. And I think that's looking good. I feel like it's a greenhouse. It needs a bit of gravel for its floor. And that helps with humidity and all sorts of different stuff within a greenhouse. And that's looking super, super fancy. So you might be wondering, Scar, what is this? <laughs> this is a another branch coming out of the side of the building. I want to do it similar to this one. And as for something to do in the center, I'm still... Ooh, got a lot of breath there. Um, I was a little too excited about this greenhouse. Um, this right here could be either a giant flower or a huge tree. You let me know what you would like to see there because I'm still very much undecided. But as for this other little tentacle coming out of here, this one might be a more horizontal Venus flytrap. And if I can, I'd love to eventually get fireworks launching out of it as if it is some kind of venom because we can do horizontal launches now in 1.15, which is really fantastic and can be used in so many different fun ways also we've got some green you know moss growing on the sides and corners of the glass of the structure and i think that's looking cool so let's see let me know tree or giant flower let's finish this last big branch flew by this giant yellow patch in the ground here and it turns out Iskull is temporarily buying micro blocks so what we can do is we can just go in here replace the diamond with a micro block and boom look at how many diamonds we are racking up this is uh <laughs> this is our new money maker right there look at that that is absolutely fantastic there's eight diamonds just for a little bit of micro trading and there they are our venus fly traps our flowers our branches and vines and all of those little details here are now established and I think they're looking good and that was a lot of work those are very weird and complicated organic shapes that do take a lot of time but well worth it in the end to really spend that extra time to really refine it and if it doesn't look good to throw it away and rebuild it three times like I did with this one <laughs> and I like how they're a little bit different from each other so they have some unique characteristics so we're going to continue to work on this get some more detail figure out what we're going to do in the center and in our next episode we will fill in this shot because I've been working on this video since Thursday and it's now Monday <laughs> but anyway it was an absolute blast loved every minute of it and we'll get this area all ready to go in our next episode but we got to head real quick back to the magical village because something is waiting for me. We don't need to go far to find what was waiting for me here. <laughs> and that appears to be a diamond beard on Larry. And that might be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so once we found the diamonds for the head hunt, um, Grin took mine to play a fun little prank. And that is... That is so funny. I love that. <laughs> I'm going to leave those on there for a little while because that is so beautiful. And Larry really has embraced Operation Aqua Thunder. And that, my friends, is one insane episode. We completed our massive shop. We've got a huge grind lapse completed for all the resources we're going to need for quite some time. And yeah, until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos, and if you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later, and don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scarred for life.